it's been a great week for us to uh, to get rest, uh, rehab, but also get back to some things that we have to do better uh, that, that had slipped during the times that we were uh, playing so many games. So it's been a good week. Uh, we've had a, another injury with Max Bielfeld uh, right at the end of practice, I think on, uh, on Wednesday. So uh, he's going to be questionable. We'll have to see what he can do today and tomorrow. Uh, we get, I think we gave Jordan enough rest and rehab and um, drills to kind of go try and go full go with him today. And uh, Kara seems is going to go full go as well. So you don't have to ask those questions. That answers them all. Uh, everybody else is pretty healthy, and uh, and I do think we have uh, we have the right attitude now to go in with a uh, two two day prep uh, for uh, this this game with Illinois. Illinois obviously is playing tremendous basketball. They started out with. They were two and seven, and then all they did is beat the number one team in the country. Uh, they have uh, they really played well. Uh, they, you can look at their resume. They have beaten Gonzaga, they've beaten Ohio State, and they've beaten Indiana. And there's few teams that can say they've beaten those teams. So really playing well. Senior laden team uh, has uh, has been through a lot, and is really uh, is going to give us a great game. So we better we better play really well. Start off, Nick. Uh, John, what was the biggest thing you guys did? Uh, this week, I guess you said right attitude. Uh, was it was that a big part of it? Yeah, you know what I think. I think we had been um, uh, very technical in what we were, how a, a certain play they were running, and how we defended, as and sort of trying trying to read plays instead of read action and just rally to the ball, rally to the zoning up in different areas. Just uh, doing a great job on, let's say, hedging a ball screen instead of well, what do I do after it, or, or what are the different rules here? So we just really got back to basics. It was mostly defense. Oh, yeah, it was, yeah. It was, uh, most of our stuff has been defense. So you can see by our numbers now, obviously, we played some really good teams during that stretch. But uh, you know, we did not guard Penn State as, as well either. So it is, uh, it's the thing we have to keep getting better at and get better at. You just can't slip in. Chris? Can you talk about how critical it will be to defend the three-point line against this team? They, uh, you know, we defended it well last time, but they really extend you. I mean, there's some shots that uh, DJ and Paul make that you cannot defend, no matter what you do. And you've got to be there and hope that uh, they're not, uh, they, you know, when, D when uh, and DJ, some of the shots he's made in the past have been incredible. When Paul had the 40 or something against Ohio State or last year, is incredible. So we got to be there. It's the only way you can be there. You can't. You, you, you cannot defend them all the way because they're so talented and they've been around for so much. Uh, but that will be a challenge. Can you talk about, just to follow up, how you feel you've done in that respect recent, in recent weeks defending the three-point line? I, I, think, I think okay. I mean, we still, it's all residual of the ball screen. If you, if you have too many guys guarding the ball screen, somebody's going to be open. Uh, if, you, if you do not, uh, you know, then they're going to get easy, easy points inside. So... It's it's all on that, and you know I said there. I just can't emphasize to you how much this area of basketball changes by the minute, by the minute. Every day there's something new we're seeing, the angles we're seeing. This wasn't happening 10 or 15 years ago, and certainly wasn't happening in the lives of the younger players we have. John, so, John, you talked about yesterday about the need for rest, and this is something that's unique, kind of that you haven't faced yeah. a lot of before. Is that rest in games? Is that rest in practices for those uh, just I, I young just guys? Think, I think so. uh, we needed time just to, like we gave them two days off this week, uh, where we usually are at 13 hours of practice going into our last two days, which would give us three and a half, three and a half combined film, weights, the whole deal. Uh, we're at nine hours. We, they have four extra hours this week that we did not use for anything except, you know, I know that sounds like a lot. It's probably not a lot when you're a student athlete. But it was enough. We just wanted to make sure the guys like uh, the Trey Burks and Tim Hardaway's had enough time. But the freshmen, just to get, just be a student a little bit more, just be in, uh, you know a college age person a little bit more, and just uh, before they get back in the gym because it's, it's a long year. It's not going to be managing minutes necessarily in games though. More no, I don't. I don't think that will change. It depends on the injuries right now, Mark. That's what it depends on. I mean, how we play. When Max went down the other day with Joe Jordan already be out, now you're down to two guys there, and uh, um, it's that's going to be play a big part down the stretch. That and foul trouble. Right here with Rob. 
John, outside of the injuries, do you expect to go back if Jordan is fine to go back to your regular rotation with the big men with him starting and then using? The yeah, I, yeah. If I think if we go John. back to our our normal the, the rotations when we were really we you know we showed the guys clips of uh, some really great defensive possessions in Minnesota, Ohio State, uh, Northwestern, uh, Iowa, Illinois earlier in the year. And Jordan, it was amazing how much, with the exception of maybe the uh, one or two games, how much Jordan was a huge part of all those. So those are big things we're looking to get back. Uh, so uh, that would, that's what, if he's healthy and he's playing well enough, and Mitch is like, he, he just he always wants to play. He's not hung up on who starts. So I don't mind bringing him off like we were before. But if Jordan doesn't go, then we've got to make an adjustment if he can't really move like he should.